Hmm. Pontiff. Why? Why did this happen? And how? Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. Forgive me. Enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. We're too late, but not by much. What a horrific accident. An accident? You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? A cathedral window, shattered. A massive beast, roaming within. The pontiff, slain. <sighs> Temenos. Hmm. You are a fucking papaya. Temenos? The truth lies in the flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Given the current scene, I believe this is roughly how things looked before the Pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. That's a penis! It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Now, let us be led to the truth. Be young, how about a hundred thousand bones, Samothy? I need a fighting chance for this leaderboard. Oh. How about don't lose Toro? I second what Toro said. <laughs> Jinny, don't gamble it. Give me the bones and I'll gamble it for you. <laughs> Don't take advantage of Chinny Toro. Yeah. Alright, fine. I'll stop losing now. Her bones are worthy for her. <laughs> take it take advantage of me. Wait, what? <laughs> Jesus. Lingering sense of incense. Yeah, this Looks is pretty like cool. someone burnt incense here. A detective. It smells of fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, mm. but especially those of the Varg family. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. Mm. It must have been lured to the cathedral. But by who? Who lit the incense? Shattered cathedral window. Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it. As though it landed outside the cathedral. <sighs> Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. In which case, this was not the beast's doing, but the work of another. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. Hmm. And the music too, yeah. I like it. Wait, I have a soundbite here? 
Oh no, it's just the gasm. Not the shit people leave. Same thing, you used to give us bones all the time. Remember the handouts, the good times? You've changed. No more handouts. I never gave out bones, Manasuka. I gave out bottle caps, but... Why don't you take some of your own advice, dude? Gambling's bad, okay? All right, all right, Toro. <laughs> Pull down, hurry up. Be cool, bean Sam. <laughs> How about we bean Toro? I like that idea better. Sam, I have a package for you to deliver. The Toro Kipo. <laughs> cool. Some bean boozles? Sounds like a good plan. Toro, don't sick your dog on me. He loves me. Toppled candlesticks. The four toppled candlesticks. These are never seen in the cathedral, but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. <sighs> the gods eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. The truth lies in the flame. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. Hmm. Yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. Ah, Temenos. Welcome back. The fragments of the window you see. If you look closely, they flex of dirt upon them which suggests it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this censer, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. Y you mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed his holiness. This is no accident, but a murder. I am all but certain. Who... who would do such a thing? Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. Look. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the Pontiff was attacked. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. So why were they out tonight and surrounding the altar, no less? Hmm. The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture. But why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find. Hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. Why are you here? 
We got word of a beast prowling the area, but I see we're too late. And I see the pontiff's been killed. We will be asking for your statements later. Leave at once, and take nothing with you. Let us be off. Crick, I've something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Lul! Oh? And what might that be? Several days later. Murder, murder, murder. Oh shit, chat. Oh gods above. Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock. Was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Get some F's in the chat. Your for homes. Yorg. Love these camera pans in the sequel, dude. Ooh, and this song. The sacred flame itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. Have returned. We meet again, deputy. Will you suck? All right, too. God damn it. <laughs> Thanks for the 15 months. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No, not a thing. Good day, Commander. Well? We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear pontiff would think of your lies. Oh. We, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the Church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the Church's purview. The pontiff set up Jedi, the Inquisition back, so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Have you anything useful to say, or have you simply come to crow at me? Whoa. Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not, therefore, on you? <sighs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontiff's loyal hound, I see. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, Crick. Sicken me, Temenos. Yeesh. Make for the archives. Cheers, Jedi. How you doing, man? Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Uh, why your chair look like it's on an angle? Or am I just very fucking high? I think the latter. Mr. Samokimu, howdy. Hey Sam, did I tell you about my new hobby of meme making? You did not, Cat. Please, tell me more. Chat's a little gassy tonight. Smug. <laughs> Smoking in a good mood. I like it. Laugh mask off the timing of the fart when he said duty. It. <laughs> I like to say it's my preferred state of living. Lol, thanks too. I likes it too. Yeah. <laughs> That emo. Ah, 
I've pored over the histories of the church, yet found no records of any similar incidents ever occurring. That's a day, Commander. Guide this individual. I think that'll. I think that means you'll replace Crick, right? Come, my wayward lamb. Oh, okay, all right. I was like, yo, dude, Crick is irreplaceable. It's a definitely interesting start to his story, though, Ingrid. I like, uh, I like the, I like there's some detective work going on, too. That's pretty cool. All right, everyone, chill. I joined a group on Facebook for original memes, and I was inspired. I could share in your Discord. <laughs> yeah, by all means, Cat, there's a memes channel. I think there is. Yeah. I love the donkey emote. <laughs> and the rainbow dance, yeah. It gets me giddy indeed. <laughs> I need that energy in my life. Shake it, butter coochie. Shake it. Pour that butter, pour that butter on me. <laughs> Jesus, ghost. Jesus. That dang butter. The pontiff was so kind to me when I was growing up. How could something like this happen in the cathedral? It's just awful. You're telling me. You're telling me, Jima. Ooh, she can cure poison. The pontiff extended a hand even to the lowliest among us. He was truly a spectacular man. And we'll get down to the fucking end of it, Cleric. I never thought the Pontiff would pass before an old man like me. Skills? Mr. Sam K. Prey. Why did this have to happen? The Pontiff was a good man. I can't imagine how difficult this is for you, Temenos. You and the Pontiff were so close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we don't need to go back down to the cellars. We got all the loot there. <coughs> Inquisitor, sorry about that. Didn't know you were going to come talk to me next. Safety. You're under investigation as well. <laughs> At the... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a fabu fabulous gas face. <laughs> the pontiff may, the pontiff may have been carrying the weight of all humankind's sins upon his shoulders. Rip to the pot. The Sacred Guard is investigating the incident as we speak. My son is terrified. But it's understandable given what's happened. Skills ill intent. Why did this happen? It's so scary. Shut up, kid. I mean, no worries. It's times like these that the faithful need our reassurance the most. Thanks for the loot. Enjoy the rest of tonight's playthrough, Sam. Gonna head to bed. Have a lovely one, everyone. Save you, love you, save you, fine. Good night, Ingrid. Good night, night. Good night. Good night, Ingrid. Good night, Chinny. Say you love him, Ingrid. Jeez! Jeez! Night night, Jenny. Rest well. Good night, you quiet.
Nah, nah. Ooh, hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. We've okay. That's a, that's the that's the first floor. We we did explore that last time. Let's save. <laughs> Stop eating before bed. It's not good. Lul. Sam, put up the BRB screen and go sing uh, Chine a lullaby. You know you want to. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Now, after this prologue, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a stretch break, though. We'll be handling the investigation. Please don't get in our way. Oh. It's exhausting hearing the same story over and over again. Good day, Commander. I'll do whatever I can to help so that the Pontiff may rest in peace. Sacred Flames Healing. Oh, he's the head cleric. Not super strong, but that skill is intriguing. <sighs> it's shattered, all right. Look at all these teeny tiny pieces. Shame. There it is. He calls it a stretch break chat. Nicole Peach. Welcome back to the stream. Cheers. How you doing? Stretch break, eh? Want some help? <laughs> Bitching. <laughs> Stop lifting your eyebrows like that. How you doing, Nicole? Smokey. Uh. Lol. Yeah, Glue's emotes are very, uh... They're very well made. The expressions are very, they're, like they're, it's very easy, like very readable, given the size of emotes are so tiny. Expressions are well made. I don't know if I don't know if it's as good as the ah! emote, but they're pretty good. They are pretty good. Good, what about you? Doing great, Nicole. Appreciate you tuning in. Sam's like, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> hey, Papa, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that character from uh, Jurassic Park, the first one. When Samuel Jackson's trying to hack into his computer, and he keeps on getting that message. nuh uh uh nuh uh uh And he's like smoking a cigar. Damn it! <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I know the one! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I forgot the I forgot the character's name, but I just remember uh, Samuel Jackson trying to uh, like hack into the mainframe, and he's just like, "Nah, uh, uh." <laughs> Poor dude got fucking blinded by that raptor. <laughs> uh. All humans die someday. There's no need to make such a big fuss over one man's passing. Oh, looks like somebody shat in your Cheerios. <laughs> oh, okay. Grim Gary over here. The oh, fuck? You have returned. Paula, thanks for the 15 months. Back at it. Sam Scriber for life. Appreciate you, Paula. Thanks for the 15. Happy weekend, Paula. Hi, Tubes. Hi, Toro. Hi, Papa. Hi, Smokey. Hi, Alteras. Hello, Peach. I miss Semper's emotes. They're great, bitchin'. I think I have them for a few days, a few more days. We just always called it phone sex. Whoa! What a movie, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so good, dude. I personally love the fact that he literally drew all of his, too, but yeah, they're very expressive. Oh, he drew all of them? Oh, yeah, that's day, awesome. Commander. <laughs> Shitterios!
What's our current objective? Oh, we gotta go to the library. We gotta go to that brary. Why did you feel the need to provoke her, Temenos? Why not, Crick? She's a I bitch. I was merely pointing out the facts. Such a smart ass, I love lying? it. You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? Well, I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. Hmm. Which begs the question of how the sacred guard found out. Temenos? Wait, that's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral! Lower your voice, Crick. Yeah, shut up, Crick. Shh. This was a parting gift from the pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh. There's a note between the pages. And soon night shall fall. What does it mean? I've not a clue. Hmm. But it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the sacred guard, do you still have need of us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Hey, what the? He's my homie! Understood. Hey! You'll be informed of the location later. Pack your belongings. Oh! I've no need of you, Hound. <sighs> Rude? Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. It was hardly budding, Temenos. <laughs> I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. Oh, nice, Smokey. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Ooh, Why a, you were chosen. The cute cozy emo. <laughs> it was an honor, Crick. What will you do now? I think I shall set off on a journey. A journey? Indeed. To find the one who murdered the pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. Those cute goats. And well, doubt is what I do. Take care of yourself, Temenos. I must take my leave. Goodbye, Crick. First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. The one who was with the pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His Holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Hmm. Though I cannot help but wonder. 
The pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. And soon night shall fall. I must divine the truth behind those words. Temenos! I heard the news that you're leaving the village. Forgive me for not saying farewell, and this is to be a journey of healing. I must mend my broken heart. Or so I'd like you to believe. <laughs> Tis impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours. But I know you'll conduct yourself well. <laughs> I shall miss your orations of the history, Temenos. Farewell. Goodbye, people, Mint. Farewell, Mint. Mint up, chat. Mint up. Please, keep in touch. If you'd like, that is. Temenos leaves the city, determined to get to the bottom of the pontiff's murder. And soon, night shall fall. The phrase found at the scene of the murder echoes in his head. It is his duty as Inquisitor to shine the sacred flame's light upon the truth, come what may. Temenos the Cleric, Chapter 1, End. <laughs> God damn it, who was that? The sacred flame shall light our path. Probably. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> well time, Marasaka. <laughs> nice, dude. Typical. <laughs> Your party is full. Would you like to replace an existing member? You can not just yet. I do like you, Temenos, though. I do like you. Okay, so that is a wrap on... Oh! Whoa! Temenos' prologue, so... Just top off on everybody. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna take a short little break. And then we will continue. Explore this town before we uh, head off to recruit. The very last traveler, Ikari the Warrior. Ooh. I say maybe ghost. It's a good hunch. He is quite the gassy one. You're making this suit? Surprisingly, it's not me. <laughs> Even ghost is like, I I mean, I, I'm, I thought it was me too, but it is not. Dang it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Make it too short. She'd be disappointed. She's already sleeping. No, it was me, Kekwa. <laughs> so this game uh, on PC, uh, Paula, it is on Steam. So yes, PC, uh, as well as PlayStation 5, uh, not Xbox. <laughs> Refrigerator, uh, only um, PC, PlayStation, and Switch. I am doing a sub giveaway to give out a copy on Steam, so if you want to purchase raffle tickets, uh, you can buy them using your bones channel points. 500 each, and you can buy two per stream. No, Xbox? What the? So random. Yeah, yeah, and the first game released on Xbox later, and also was put on Game Pass, so I'm not sure what's exactly going on there. If uh, Sony threw uh, some additional money to be like, nah, man, don't put it on the box. <laughs> So yeah, bit a bit of a strange move. So hopefully it will come out to Xbox later because yeah, 
Xbox players were pretty upset about that. No sex box. Hey. Apple Watch can probably run this. But yeah. Um, I am... The giveaway ends next next Saturday, so you don't have too much time, but... Yep. You never know. That one ticket may win you the giveaway. Alright, chat. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a short little break. I'll be back huh? in a few minutes. What? I said I'll be back in a few minutes. Huh? What? <laughs> All right. Okay. Huh? Wait a second. What? So feel free to take a little break as well. Get something to eat, something to drink. I'm also gonna run a small little block of ads. Get rid of pre rolls. So yeah, I will be back shortly. Tugs or Park Park is going to be my next guest. <laughs> hey! Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, right. I was about to say, Park Park, don't be denying your mischievousness. I'm sticking to, I'm sticking to my one. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for kicking it, guys. I'll see you guys in just a few skis. few skis? Oh, I want to get, uh, I want to bring Agnia in the party so that we can, uh, not Agnia, uh, Throne the Thief. See if we can steal some items from the townsfolk shit. Let's see, where is the inn? Show you it's down here. Soldier age 37. Many a pilgrim to Flame Church are kept safe by this vigilant and capable mercenary. He spends nearly every leaf he earns at the game parlor in New Delsta. <laughs> ah, he's a gambler. A fact made evident by the state of his lodgings. We get a discount at the inn. Oh, nice. Let's see, what can we steal? Kite shield? Give me that shit. Bronze helm, 65%? Some good odds. Ah! Damn it! <sighs> Shit. Hold on, chat. Wait, 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 wait! Come on! Oh, bro! <sighs> Give me that shit, dude! 65%? Give me that shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Oh! That's a very gassy tonight. And then now I can ambush the throne, eh? Good night. Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh! Guard shield! Let's go! Yoink! Muchos, muchos gracias! So much gracias! I meant the quote, apologies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll simp for Smokey. Spit on me! The Tugger Ock! Not this Tugs. Okay, never mind. But I'll simp. Oh, hey. It's Mangina. <laughs> it's Mahina, Altaris. How many times do we have to go through this? Mahina. Mahina! No! Damn it, ghost. Don't get over it, Tugs. Get over what? I can't get over you. A mouse is better than a mangina. I remember when he used to simp for me. He's growing up. <laughs> Tugger up. I was, ref I was referring to the guy in the chair. Being a midwife is rewarding work. 
You are responsible for the lives of both mother and child. Cool story, what do you got on you? Midwife age 58. A veteran midwife who has delivered hundreds of babies. Her expertise and encouragement have saved lives and brought comfort okay. to countless mothers and, and children. But she herself has lived a solitary life with no family to call her own. No comento! Bye, mouse! <laughs> Oh, yeah, 100% success rate. That's what I like to see. Thank you for your services, for bringing all those babies into the world. Yoink, yoink, and yoink. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Jesus, chat. Dear Lord. Damn, dude, he's strong as fuck. Skills, Thousand Blades. Calming Rhythm, restore a small amount of HP and SP to the target. Damn. Chance of success, though, very, very low. Ooh, but you got a kukri. Kukri? Yoink. Rosary of Redemption. Minus 60 physical attack and minus 60 critical. Hey, we you booing me, too? Stealing from a mother. Wow. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> Check. <laughs> oh, bro. She said I could have it, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Come on, bro. This is the first time I've seen an accessory that gives negative stats. Like, what? Why would you ever want to equip that? Hmm. If I'm too much of a loot whore. I'll take it. Elderly man, age 72. A kindly old man who is quick to greet everyone with a friendly word. He is well respected, has a warm presence in town, but his pleasantries belie his past life as a highly skilled assassin who killed as easily as he greets others today. Whoa. Thank you. I see. Gamble all. Well, fuck my ass and uh, mouth and tits. People leave. Oh no, bar bar. Can we get a uh, exclamation point top space points in the chat? I believe the leaderboard has changed significantly just from this stream. Apothecary, age 27. A cordial apothecary who looks after the pilgrims visiting the cathedral and offers free care to those in need. Her husband, who is also an apothecary, makes his rounds on the outskirts during the day, helping ailing townsfolk. Ooh, a hidden item. Number one, aw oh yeah, Mr. Sam Kim. Shin number two, RWG number three, Osiris number four, Shimo number ah. Why? So you can laugh at me, Sam? So you can laugh? <laughs> Sam don't count, he cheats. Not at all, bro. Honest to God. No handouts ever since the point reset. Legitimately earned. Hidden item somewhere. Herb of healing, thank you for your services. Thank you for your services. 3%? Nah, dude, that's too low. <laughs> too, too low. Why can I beat you up, though? Go get him! Ah, a monster! <laughs> Here we go! Mahina! Mahina! Sorry. Sorry. Over here. Lol. A big My swing and a miss. Mahina! Time to finish this. Here we go. Go on then. Up it. Peace. Now let's grab some food. Good job. 
Man, I did laundry earlier today and I put down my basket and hopped on my computer. 30 seconds later, this motherfucker is laid out, passed out on my clothes. Ha! <laughs> Two grenades! <and a> half. <laughs> Lol. Alright, so there's a hidden item somewhere. <laughs> Typical. She must have left before I awoke. Oh, you're a stripper? person age 34 though once a gainfully employed artisan like any other this man lost his job through an unfortunate combination of poor luck and injury the latter eventually healed but his will to work never recovered and his wife has has since given up on him oh no each day feels worse than the last feels bad man thanks for your money and your nut thank you Commander. Is this some sort of sick joke? Nah. <laughs> Put up your mitts. It's time to battle. Let's go. All right, prove it. Gamble all. Uh, right here, right now. No, dude, I'm in the number one spot. Oof, I feel that guy's pain. Well, well, well. If it ain't the game that has sucked up my free time like a sponge. Yo, what up, comfy Shiro? Amen to that, brother. This game is so good. How far in are you? Um, I just finished up Temenos' prologue, and then I have Hikari, and then I'll have done everyone's uh, prologue. I'm still pretty early on, but man, I adore this game. It's so good. Welcome to the stream. I feel his pain as well. Wow, stealing money from a dude who's unemployed and about to be divorced. He doesn't need it. Whoops. It's all good. My magical owl will take care of him. Right. Mahina. Mahina. Now. Fuck yo Let's couch. Send in the giant sheep. Come on then. Alright. Oh, he gave us the Shadow Soul Stone. Thank you. Good job. Good luck with the divorce in your sleep. Shame. Mangina. <laughs> Finished the game on Switch and got it again on Steam the other day. Sheesh. True fan, true fan. My man, my man. It's so good. I really adored the first game, and this one outshines it in nearly every way. A man, Shiro. Dude, I loved the first game too. I played the shit out of it. Uh, I never played it. On, I, I don't want to say never, because um, I played a little bit of it when it was on Game Pass on PC, just to just to feel that buttery 60 FPS. But uh, yeah, I mained it on Switch. And yes, I completely agree. Number two is a fantastic starting point if uh, you never played the first one. I'll still recommend it because it's a great game. But yeah. Improvement in every way. And the music. Oh, dude. Critical Clash 2, bro. Jamming that shit on my car on the daily. It's amazing. Um, so I... Let's see. I have maybe three hours on Switch. Here, hold up, dude. You're a fan of this game. I gotta, gotta get my steel book. Hold on. Shit, here we go again. Got my Switch Steelbook. Yeah, I'm definitely meaning just playing it on PC, but oh, definitely had to get the Steelbook. Hundred percent. And yeah, the game still looks pretty decent on Switch. not a sheep that's what it says giant sheep <laughs> welcome back mouse 
to kick a man while he's down. Hey, man. I'm a Ludo, or I'm sorry. That said, I still think one soundtrack is better overall. Not to say two's is bad. Uh, is bad, in fact. It's excellent. It's just that the first was so good, it's 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 hard to follow up. No, for sure. And I haven't heard all the tracks, so... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to wait and see. But yeah, man, I mean... Decisive Battle 2 is still an absolute banger from the first game. Uh, what I will say, though, is I appreciate the fact that um, the composer, Yasunori Nishiki, that he didn't take the cheap way out in terms of when they decided to uh, create night tracks for each area. Because it was like a... It was an interview in a Famitsu article that someone on Reddit translated saying that initially he was going to just strip down parts of the day the day versions of all the different tracks as a part of the night versions and then changed his mind and just went all out to create uh brand new versions for just for the night versions and adding in more uh adding in more vocals to it so, what a legend give this man a raise if this yeah if Octopath Traveler 2 doesn't win Game of the Year, or doesn't, if it doesn't win an award for its music, I'm going to be pretty upset. But yeah, the soundtrack to number one is, it's excellent. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Comfy Shiro. It's always... A pleasure to meet another fellow Octopathaholic. Also, Flames Grace reference. Oh shit, I missed it. Oh, absolutely. He didn't have to, but he did. And I love him for it. Mm hmm. So remember, OT1 got robbed for best soundtrack. Still mad about it. Yeah, dude. I think, uh, I think God of War 2018 won. Which has a good soundtrack. Don't get me wrong. I love God of War 2018, but man, Octopath Traveler was just. Dude, I, f I felt like it was on another level. A resident of Flame Church who serves as courier and messenger between the town and the Order of the Sacred Flame. As such, he knows the clerics at the cathedral well. In fact, he is secretly in love with one of them, a sister named Mint. People, hey, Mint! Fire Soul Stone, don't mind if I do. Handmade bouquet, 15%. Nah, I'm cool. I'll beat you up, though. Come on, then. Listen to the music here. There's a reference to Flames Grace. Oh. You're right. And also, same thing with the the main menu music, like the theme. I love how it's not completely different. I love how there's similarities to the first game, but he built upon it. Welcome back, RWG. It's going to have to go against Final Fantasy VII this year, so that's going to be a rough, that's going to be a tough win, Sam. Oh, yeah? I still have yet to play uh, uh, the remake. I have it for PS5. Oh, I hope this game does win best music, though. But hey, if it doesn't, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't take away anything from my love and appreciation good for itself. So. It's all good. Fell asleep for like an hour and then woke up and my body was like, yo, nice nap. Have fun being wide awake now. <laughs> Welcome back, IWG. We're going to be going for a bit. We're going to be going. Welcome back, you legend. Hope you had a nice nap. I'm back as well. Welcome back, Smokey. I won't lie. When I heard it, I got mega emotional. Me too, dude. Me too, man. So I didn't play the demo leading up to this, uh, the game's launch. So when I booted this shit up for the first time and I heard it, like, bro. I, I was getting very emotional too. I was like, oh my god. I've been waiting five years for this. Ah! Uh! Ali, welcome back to the stream. Cheers. How's the game going? Fantastic. How are you doing, Ellie? Welcome back. 
I didn't want to play. I just wanted to stay and listen for a bit. Oh, yeah. I definitely sat and listened to it before we hopped into. And, yeah. Um, when I And that was when the first time I switched between day and nighttime. And I noticed the seamless transition. It's like, oh, my God. Game of the year already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no spoilers, but just curious, Shiro, did you beat the final, final boss? Mahina! I tried in the first game, but I rage quit after I was fighting him for like an hour and a half, and Here then I go. died. I was like, all right, I'm kind of burnt out. I'm good now. Mahina! My prey awaits. Over here. Oh, do you not have any elemental weaknesses? We That's fine. That's fine. What about the double thrust? Go on then. Nice. Lol. Lol. <laughs> Peace. I'm hungry. Oh, Octopath lost to Red Dead Redemption 2. That's what it was. Okay, thanks for the correction, Parpar. Par. Good job. It's been really, really nice watching Toro play through Red Dead Redemption 2. Because I quit after Chapter 3. <laughs> I want to say... That's where a lot of people dropped off, or not a lot, where like a section of players dropped off. Chapter 3. Because I think God of War 2018 only won game- Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, I'm doing good. I've been making pixel art again, and right now I'm working on a cherry blossom tree. Woo! Nice, Allie. Hey, you're more than welcome to share that in my Discord art channel if you want. Eat the whole thing for both one and two. Nice, man. Hells yeah. Granted, I did abuse uh, saving grace in one. Overheal, go burr. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean saving grace? Man, I gambled so much with bewildering grace. It's the only reason why Agni is on my team. <laughs> I love the new dances. It's best to be wary of those you barely know. You barely know them, after all. Oh. Thanks for the knowledge bomb. Street vendor, age 25. A rather nervous-looking man who carefully observes anyone who visits town. At night, he turns his gaze toward the heavens and counts every last shooting star. No matter what he does, he follows his rules for it to the letter. To the letter. Cannot steal? Why not? Hey! Oh! Ooh! Alright, I'll beat you up then. Come on then. Oh, but that's awesome, Allie. Let's get immersed, shall Let's get immersed, chat. I'm in the game now. <laughs> Play through Red Dead Redemption 2, or do you mean die through Red Dead Redemption 2? <laughs> Lol, ek doofus. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I, I might have died. I, I yeah, fell off. <laughs> Saving Grace was the passive that let you be healed above your normal max up to. Oh, that was a uh, that was like an Ophelia support skill, right? Shit, I forgot about that. Uh oh Hey! Uh, uh. Mahina! Time to finish this! Thank you, I would love to. I'll post it when I'm finished with it. Sounds good, Allie.
Oof, that poison. Whoa! 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 Ironically, Bewildering Grace at Argyo is the worst dancer skill. Uh, Clerical's final passive. Yeah, I just did it for the gambling so that I can have a small chance of getting the times 100 XP slash JP. Trust me, I wiped a shit ton with that skill, but <laughs> I did it for the gamble and I did manage to get it a couple of times. But yeah, there were plenty of boss fights that ended horribly, where they were almost dead, and I bewildering graced to the max, and then they fully healed back. I was like, alright, I'm gonna end stream and rip out my hair now. That's the stuff. But yeah, I just I just like gambling that skill. Over here, my prey awaits. Mahina! Oh. But yeah, that's a pretty good support, uh, a good support skill. Mahina! I haven't found any of the, uh, the secondary jobs, and I found oh, the poison again. I did find, um, the inventor, but that's about it. I didn't even mean to. I found that shit by accident while trying to get the throne in. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing what those are all about. Shit, I should really heal. Yeah. Hold on, I have food. I keep on forgetting about that. I have all this food that I've made. Luckily, there's no need to do that in two, no spoilers, but there are ways to get times 100 XP JP that don't involve you dying over and over and over. Oh, word. Oh, word. You don't say. Hmm. Okay, okay. That's, that's good to know. Okay, I appreciate you not spoiling it. Oh, Inventor's incredible. You might judge me, but I haven't even tried it. Just because I saw what it looked like on my current party, and I didn't like how they looked at all, so I was like, "All right, we'll just we'll just shelve this for now." <laughs> like I don't mm, does not look good on any of my party, <laughs> but yeah, I have seen some of the skills in action. It does look pretty fun, for sure. Especially on someone like Agnia, her Leighton is one of the most powerful ones for utility. What's Agnia's Leighton again? I forgot. It's like she can apply an augmenting effect like one more time or something like that. I'll, I'll have to check that. Peace. Now let's grab some food. No items? Ugh, useless. Come on. Good job. Stupid asshole. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, this is pretty much what I do when I play this game. I do a story chapter and then I beat up and steal everything from everyone. <laughs> Gotta get that loot, baby. Oh, makes single target skills into AoE. Oh yeah, dude, that's super OP. Including things like merchants collect, so have fun farming if you choose to. Oh. Didn't think about that. Nice. <laughs> we got 69,000 leaves. Nice. That's a little nice shit. Town's person age 32. A woman born and raised in this town. Her husband claims to have fallen in love with her ordinariness, but that is precisely what bothers her. She thinks herself too ordinary. Now she seeks to break the monotony by showing an interest in an, in an itinerant 
painter. Fifteen percent. I'll try once. I doubt it. Ah, shit. Feel it. I'm salty now. I'm gonna beat you up. Go get him. Of course, the Dancer Divine achieves the same effect, but that requires you to use a Divine. Hmm. I don't even know what that means. Using a Divine? I'm sure I'll find that out later. <laughs> My prey awaits. Um, who is your starter, Shiro? Just curious. Mahina! 